Hello, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. Today we'll be taking a look at how to set up a bungee cord network. In order to set up a bungee cord network, you'll need a minimum of three servers, your bungee server, a hub server, and then a game mode of your choice. In this case, it's going to be a survival server. In most cases, your bungee cord server will only need to be a gigabyte. The hub server will depend on your version, players, and plugins that you'll have. This will be the same for your survival server as well. In order to get started, let's go ahead and open up all three of these servers. We'll start with the Bungie server and go to FTP file access. We're going to connect to our server using an FTP client. I'll be using FileZilla. If you're unsure how to do this, we have a previous FTP video up on the channel that'll explain the step-by-step -step process of connecting to your server via an FTP client. We've gone ahead and connected to all three of our servers in FileZilla. If we go to our bungee cord server, we already have the bungee cord jar selected. However, if you've yet to do this, ensure in the jar file selector, you have your version of bungee cord selected. I have 1.8 to 1.15.2 selected. And once you select that jar file, you're going to want to restart your server and ensure these files are there. Once we have these files, we can open up the config.yml and this will be our main bungee cord configuration file. Up at the top, we have the message of the day, and as you can see, this is just another Bungie server. You can change this to whatever you'd like. Under the tab list, this will be global ping. So this means whenever someone connects to your Bungie cord server, it will display all of the players for the entire network rather than the individual server. We'll go ahead and change the forced hosts option to the hub server, as this will make it so all players are forced to that server whenever they join. This will also apply whenever the player logs out and logs back into the server. They'll be forced to the hub server. In the priorities tab, we'll also change lobby to hub. Moving down to the host section, we'll find that it's currently set to 0.0.0.0 colon 2.5.5.6.5. We can actually leave this as shown as we have a dedicated IP. If you don't have a dedicated IP, you'll need to change this port to reflect your server's port. We're going to move down to the IP forward section of the configuration file. However, for now, we'll just go ahead and set that to true. We're going to ensure that in the bungee cord configuration file, online mode is set to true. And if you'd like to support forge, you can also set that to true or false, depending on your configuration. We're going to then copy this entire section under the server section, and we're going to uh, paste it. Um, and this will depend on how many servers you have. So I only have one other server that I'm connecting to this Bungie proxy, so I'm just going to leave it as one other section, and I'm going to move this back just to ensure the formatting stays the same. And we're going to name this first lobby to hub, again, to stay consistent with our hub server, and we'll name this one to survival. Let's go ahead and save this configuration file and then click yes. We want to upload the changes in FileZilla. Now that we've added the servers to the bungee cord configuration file, we need to make a few changes to the hub and survival server. In the hub server, we'll go ahead and look for the spigot.yml file. We'll click view and edit, and this will open it up into our editor. We're going to change bungee cord to true. We'll X out of this, click yes, and then look for the server.properties file. We'll do the same process. However, in this file, we'll look for the online mode. Uh, currently, this is set to true. However, we want it to be false. Once we have that, we can uh, save the file, X out of it, and click yes. So in the survival world, we'll click the spigot YML file once more, click view and edit, OK, and change bungee cord from false to true. Now, keep in mind, you'll want to do this exact same process for all servers you're connecting to your bungee proxy. And once again, we'll go to the server.properties file, click view and edit, and change online mode from true to false. Now we can say, yes, we want to upload those changes. So now once we restart all of these servers, it will link it to the bungee cord proxy. A very easy way to start all of these servers is by going to the main servers overview page, selecting all of the servers we want to start, then go to the mass actions tab and click start. And what this is going to do is automatically start all of these for us. So now that we have all three servers online and running, we're going to join the Bungie server to ensure that we've set this up correctly. We're going to join using the Bungie Cord server's IP address. So let's go ahead and just copy the IP address and we'll just copy this straight from console. 
Uh, we'll click copy and now we can pull up Minecraft and try to connect. So we'll click join server and this will let us join the server. So we're now connected to the hub server. Now, if you remember, whenever we did the setup, we had the hub server and survival server. So if we do slash server, we have those two options. You'll notice that we don't have the bungee cord server available to join. Now, this is because the bungee server acts as a proxy between these two servers. And that's why we used the bungee cord's IP address to join. Whenever we did join, it said, we're going to be sent to the hub server. And that's the server that we are in right now. As you can see, if we did that command, we're already connected to the server. However, if we change this to survival, we'll be sent to the survival server. And now we're on the survival server. That's gonna wrap it up for this tutorial. If you have any questions regarding anything we've covered in this video, feel free to join the Pebbleos Discord and we'd be more than happy to help you there.